I want to talk a lot, a little bit about when they moved you down in Double A. Uh, what was that like as a prospect? It was crazy. Um, you know, it was all a secret for for a while. And Bobby Dean came down there, and you know, we worked secretly. You know, early early on. Um, third base, I didn't even know what it was about. They were just like, hey, just, just go learn third base. Come to this position, you never know what will happen. You might get called up to the big leagues. I'm like, all right, whatever, you know. We, we trained for about 10, 10, 10 days, and um, you know, and then it stopped. But, you know, third base talk stopped, and then uh, a month later, I get into a game finally. You know, a bunch of, bunch of scouts come in, and you know, front office people come in. I played three games at, at third base, and um, you know, so it happens that two weeks later after that, I get I get called up to you know I get a call from Gary hey you're going up to the big leagues and I'm like oh you know I mean I was in shock I was about to cry about to call my mom and I'm like okay he's like yeah but the best part about it is you're playing third base I was like what I'm like third base in the big leagues man it's just it's already hard enough that I'm going up to the big leagues you know come face these pitchers and play this game and I'm gonna play a new position that I've never played that I have three games played. That one to third base, Manny Machado will look the runner back. And there's his first defensive play at the majors at third. A 20-year-old playing at third base in this game. Launches it in the air towards the gap. Machado's on the board. His first major league hit may be a triple. It is. He's in at third. There it is, that first major league hit. How many times do you hit triples? Uh, Moustakas, uh, again, a high school player, very much like Manny. Former number one draft choice, congratulates him. You know, I went up there and it was, you know, I mean, it was, it was, it was just playing the game. Um, you know, that's the first thing Buck told me: come in here, play the game, do what you gotta do. But at the same time, just play the game. Just enjoy yourself and um, do what you gotta do and do the things that you can control. And um, you know, from there on, it was just, uh, it was just the game just took over. My talent took over. My, you know, baseball instincts took over. And, O'Shaver's delivery to him. That ball is in the air. Is that numero uno? Yeah! Goodbye! Home run! Here's the 1 2 delivery on the way. And he lifts that one. That's going to the corner. Manny Machado! Goodbye! Home run! It is second major league ball game. A two homer game. Well, he has ignited the crowd. They asked for a curtain call the first time. This time he gives it. You see yourself as more of a leader now, even though you're a younger guy. And how important is it for you to be kind of that mentor that Jay, John Jay and Alonzo were to you? I mean, it's not necessarily being a leader. I mean, you just go out there and, you know, do what you can. You know, lead by example and do the little things that you can. Go out there and, you know, be a good teammate. You know, go do the, go do the right things. I think I learned that from JJ. You know, JJ was never... You know, he was never a loud speaker. He wasn't out there always talking, he was, you know, that raw, raw. But you know, he led by example. Was, you know, he went out there, did his job, he did his pre pre work every day, did his routines. You know, he did everything he, he could possibly do to be ready for the game. And you see that as a young player, and you learn from it. And that's that. And that's the type of leader I'm trying to be. You know, just go out there. You lead. You lead the team by you know doing the things the right way on the infield, controlling the infield. Hey, come over here. Hey, scoping move this way. The ball's over there. You know, helping helping guys around you like JJ did with us. You know, and I think it's just continuing that. And um, you know, I, I think that's the only way you can kind of lead. Just lead by example and play the game the right way, and people will just follow. A lot of guys subscribe to as a big family guy. You know, Scope said you treat your fam his family like your family. Uh, you know, teammates have talked about that as well. I mean, how how important is that to you, and how much was that instilled um, when you were younger? I mean, it's always been family. My family is huge. You know, so I've always been a family man. And, you know, our, our parties are, are, you know, 50, 60, 70 people deep, you know, it's all family. So, um, you know, it's, it's always it's always been here, you know, family is the most important thing. I mean, you know, we're, 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 we're grateful for everything we have out here. We have baseball, we have the ability to take care of some people. And, um, you know, but at the end of the day, the only thing you can go back to, you know, we get fired, we get released, we, you know, our careers can finish. You know, but our family is always going to be there. They're always going to love us. They're always going to tell us the truth. So, um, you know, that's the best thing. That's the best thing you can ever have when you go home and someone's actually really going to tell you, you know, things how it is. And, um, you know, they're always going to give you that unconditional you love. So, um, and at the end of the day, it's all about family. And I think that, you know, family always comes first.